Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, we're going over everything new in the brand new Fortnite update, which drops today. This is super, super exciting. And in this update, there's going to be so much content for you guys. And it's going to be a really good update compared to some of the previous updates which we've received. And it's going to allow a lot for the Halloween Fortnite Mods event, which is currently taking place in Fortnite throughout the entire of October. So this is the version 18.20. And what we can expect inside of here are map changes galore. All over the map, we suspect that there's going to be brand new Halloween decorations and so much more in this with the start maybe of the opening of the halloween shop in retail row or even maybe a possible halloween shop over by the holly hatchery area which is over on the left side of the map now for those that are wondering in the background gameplay my red light green light map is officially complete and released there will be new additional mini games being added in and this is an infinite red light green light map so you can play this the code is on screen you can go with your friends it's out right now there are lots of players playing it currently you can go in and enjoy red Red light, green light, infinite, and use your gold to sabotage players as well as play it over and over and over to earn more gold to sabotage players. There are also two current mini games: a fashion show, which is a little bit bugged, which will be fixed tomorrow, and also the parkour. There will be additional mini games being added in, like death runs, maybe color switch, and other mini games that you guys want to suggest down below, and also some exclusive stuff coming to that map very, very soon for you guys. I can't wait for it, and hopefully you guys are as excited as I am to jump into lobbies on that. We have an update dropping for that tomorrow. Now, talking of creative maps, just before we jump into some other topics 50 fashion will also be receiving its fortnite most second update tomorrow with the addition of the zombies mini game replacing the firing range this goes live tomorrow and you guys can expect this around just after update time hopefully the maps all working and there aren't any bugs in creative fingers crossed it's going to be super exciting so that is what's popping tomorrow so be ready for that guys hopefully you guys are super hyped for that like i am and also on the fortnite side of stuff we have a lot of news on skins so let's jump into skins first off we have this leak pack you can see here the grave uh, sorry the grave yard drift which is pretty cool and i think you guys are going to absolutely love that so don't forget to jump in and purchase this when this does release around the 18th 19th of october now around that time as well unfortunately the mythical weapons which are currently in the game the only two mythical weapons and this to be honest is a little bit of an annoying one they are being removed on the 18th of october these are the symbiote weapons which are currently in the game and sadly these will be getting removed and these are for Venom and Carnage. Very strange. I didn't expect this from a game that would produce these, uh, sorry, a mythical kind of production here for the Carnage in this like tier 100 battle pass i didn't expect the game to actually decide to go you know what we're going to remove this even though it's still tier 100 so i guess it's for the film promotion but a little bit of an annoying one and kind of a strict deadline i don't know if this is because pros are complaining about it or maybe it's just generally the actual deadline for it i hope it's not because pros are complaining about it because that does ruin it uh, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little bit annoyed about this. To be honest, I really did like these mythics. I haven't had time really to use them too much. And I think saying goodbye to them is kind of a little bit upsetting. So, Fortnite, please keep at least the Carnage one in. Or maybe even had a Carnage mythical boss. They won't, but bosses have really gone downhill since Season 4, I'd say. They just go slowly. I guess Raz was like the last good boss since that. It's just not been the same. And also, don't get me started on Battle Labs, but... I'll talk about that towards the end of the video. Battle Labs is completely bugged for those wondering. For those that know the second channel we make boss meets, you can't get bosses to spawn in Battle Labs unless you're on default mode. And for some reason on default load mode, you can't even get the shockwave launcher. So I can't move any of the bosses around. It's physically impossible. And they also reduce the timer from four hours to two hours. There's my Battle Labs run out of the way. Anyway, moving on to some of the more of the interesting topics regarding what's coming in this update. We do have some more interesting stuff. Uh, one thing that did get leaked here was the All Hallows Steve out it you can see here no one knows really what this is who's under the mask only time will tell i believe this might be a collaboration with stream elements again and we can suspect maybe a few people to get this early uh, that stream elements thing for those wondering if you are a creator i think you need five viewers and 20 hours to be the partner personally i'm gonna vote to skip on that uh, 20 hours of stream in a week is quite a big grind and i do enjoy streaming but i don't think i'd enjoy doing it for 20 hours i'd rather produce creative maps and content unless i just sat there streaming me building maps which again would be quite relaxing but i think it would be very boring for you guys because i kind of just sit here like talking to myself kind of thinking like how am i going to do this it's complicated 
and not easy to explain most of the time. But yeah, I guess that could be an option. Also, regarding Halloween tomorrow, we suspect there'll be lots more Halloween skins additionally added into the update, which is super excited. Fortnite also put in their tweet, combat, 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 which kind of like explains that the voting system this week, it's gonna be between maybe two combat weapons, combat shotgun, combat AR, or maybe a brand new combat weapon we don't know about just yet. That's pretty exciting. Also on the topic of some of the up and coming stuff here from Shinner, he says that new Fortnite mode skins are expected. The Graveyard Drift also expected to be added. Golden Skull Trooper expected to be added for a style. New set of item shop cards also additionally added. More Universal Club skins most likely will occur as well in this update. We'll see some leaks for them. Probably new weapons, probably maybe the recall SMG slash AR. Also maybe the next item vote uh, between the recall SMG or AR. I don't, I don't know about that. I think it might be something to do with combats also for those that don't already know you can also uh know something about the hunting rifle the hunting rifle apparently has had some changes to it which it can now be crafted into a sniper and will be added in so this will allow mechanical parts to craft a sniper which will allow a new kind of meta to kind of like be born inside of fortnite which is kind of cool so keep your eyes peeled for that guys it's going to be super hype and hopefully you guys can be excited for that as i am so yeah that's coming very very soon inside of the world of fortnite don't forget though guys if you have some free time and you aren't doing much and you're not up to much do go into the brand new map which i've created for you guys the red light green light infinite map it's a super awesome map and it really is a lot of fun so if you do want to play that guys please do consider to give it a go if your friends and pals i really enjoy it and hopefully you will enjoy it as much as i enjoy it there will be coming uh, some updates to that as well if it does become quite popular i will be applying a lot of stuff to that so that's going to be super awesome and i might even do a launch stream for it if you guys want to see a launch stream for it let me know in the comment section down below and i'll craft one together for you guys maybe we will do a launch stream for it who knows if you guys want to see that do let me know in the comment section down below now what else can we expect in this update tomorrow well additionally here are an overview of some of the more in-depth patches and bugs to be fixed inside of fortnite excluding save the world so you can see the battle pass unlock page not always tracking correctly will be fixed which is nice for those that like to track their xp uh, slower gliding when using the symbiote item and launch pad this is something i noticed inside of battle royale uh, only once or twice but i think a lot of people have been picking up on this unable to fish while inside certain vehicles will also be fixed as well reboot timer in hood doesn't match the reboot timer on the card that will also be fixed for creative people out there only one bug fix i've noticed a bunch of bugs recently especially with the new timer and actually it displaying text on your screen this is also a major bug there's lots of bugs in creative so many to be honest but this is a concept vfx setting which will be fixed there's even bugs with new mutators and stuff i could talk about creative a lot and it is something i am considering doing on the channel for those interested i may be doing creative updates when they drop for you guys my knowledge in creative has increased a lot uh, so maybe I will do that if you guys would like to see that. Let me know in the comment section down below. Switch players are not heard by other consoles in game chat. This is also fixed. And OnePlus uh, Nord crash on login. Switch and mobile are in the same category. I do mention this a lot. Nintendo Switch is almost like playing on a mobile device. Not that that is a bad thing. I just want to say that that is why a lot of players don't see skins rendered on the fashion show because the device doesn't have the power, unfortunately, to render in these skins. If the device was a little bit more powerful, then it possibly could render in the skins. Anyway, that's it, guys. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget, stay tuned for some more content tomorrow. We've got a lot popping. Code post in the item shop. And don't forget to go and give the red light, green light map a try. It's really fun. It's a little bit buggy right now as i'm making this video but tomorrow it should be patched once the patch goes live after the fashion show one it is in a queue behind that so after the fashion show patch goes live the red light green light patch should be up and running it does work though the standard game at the minute it's just the uh bugs for the mini games and the price to get back into the red light green light is five currently and it has been reduced to three so they're little changes for those for those that don't really know what i'm talking about play the map and you'll get a good overview anyway that's it leave a like comment, and subscribe and once again this is postbox pat signing out